Our only goal today is get as many upgrades as possible. We need to do that so we can destroy every snake in existence. We're currently doing 50 damage, this one's got us surrounded but I'm not feeling particularly threatened. Luckily they handle as good as an iceberg does, so I can just sit here and just beat them all, even before lunch. The snakes drop oil when they die, the oil turns into money. They also drop fangs that I can use to upgrade my weapons. We have a pitchfork, which is high damage, short range. We're gonna increase its attack rate. Then we need to bring more snakes into defeat. The more expensive the snake, generally the better uh, loot you get from it. We're gonna bring in a slug snake for now because they're very slow. We're gonna bring in a few of those. And then we can start day two. This is a slug snake. They're not very quick and they're equally as smart. Uh, it's really unad unadvisable to let them surround us, uh, but I feel like being brave. Our health is measured in the oil, so if we get hit we lose oil. If we kill snakes we gain oil. We're basically milking snakes. That one dropped three fangs, which is good for weapon upgrades. The six oil should mean six dollars by the end of the day, so then we can pick. We can't afford the next pitchfork upgrade, which would take us to thir uh, extra 30 damage. What I will perhaps buy is another coral snake. That's that big long one that isn't particularly dangerous. I'm also going to start round with plus one oil. That gives us one extra health, but perhaps more interestingly, uh, gives us one extra dollar by the end of the round if we don't get hit. So that's just a good investment. We should have more of these to kill. These are more expensive snakes, so they should get us better drops. More oil and hopefully more teeth. I'm going to make a necklace out of your teeth. I hope you like it. This one's dead. Their health bar basically is their body. They start flashing more and more red the more dead they get. So this one is dead. Now we just got to worry about this one. We can let them surround us and give us a hug. Because again, they can't turn sharp enough to hurt me. We got 4 teeth and 12 oil. Which means $15. And we've unlocked what's called a clown snake for $8. Gives 10 oil when it dies. We're gonna need one of those. There's also an eye patch level 1. Headshots do 1.5 times. Yes. Also watering can. Sprays damaging water in a short range around you. I'm gonna try that. Okay, so we need more headshots. Headshots do 75 instead of 50, so things are going to die much quicker. And that's just easier for me. The snakes aren't that smart, but neither am I, so it's kind of a crapshoot who wins every time. And if we had a little bit of damage to this, we'll be doing just fine. We need to remember to pick up the oil too. We can't leave it behind. Okay, this extra 50% damage thing is actually really good. We need bigger, better snakes though. I want better loot. I think it's just me and the clown snake now. Imagine being named clown anything. You know what, I'm just going to go uh, inside it basically and shoot it in the faces at circles. So then we'll, it will die. Plus it'll actually touch my water thing I forgot about already. So it'll take extra damage. It is pretty tough though. I'm going to have to be careful not to bring too many of those on. 22 oil though. We're getting rich quickly. We're going to buy some more coral snakes because they're very basic and easy. Uh, obviously we have to spend more money to get the uh, return for those. So we're going to roll hoping for something more interesting. Uh, I think I'm actually going to save my... Uh, things here because I want an upgrade for my pitchfork. We do have what's called a loot snake. Has 10,000 health but gives 30 oil. Yes. To be honest I don't know if we can kill 10,000 health. We're doing 75 damage per shot uh, and we've only got like till the end of the day to do that. Plus we got to deal with all the other snakes so that might have been a uh, bad idea. Uh, but bad ideas are all I know so at least I understand adversity. I don't really know which one the tough one is. I guess it's that one because I think this one's a slug snake. Those are coral snakes. There might be more out there somewhere. I forget what snakes I bought so far. Like any good pet owner, I don't keep track at all. There's a tooth, which is nice. We really actually, I got to keep firing on the loot snake. I forgot it has 10,000 health. Okay, well, 75 damage per shot as long as I'm hitting it in the head. We've only got like a minute left. But with faster fire rate, we can be killing these things. And if we can, we'll be making so much money. I also have seven snake teeth. That's right. I'm using your entire family as currency. Well, 22 oil is not bad. So plus 30 damage out of our pitchfork. So from 50 to 80 plus 50% headshot damage and fire rate 20% faster. Uh, we're also going to bring in another clown snake. I feel like the extra fire rate is going to be enough to deal with that. I don't know why I rolled again. We can get another loot snake, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, we're going to give snake sunburn for one extra thing. Okay, then we need to try our newfound damage. A 120 per shot and we're firing quite a bit faster. So let's get rid of all the uh, annoying weak snakes first. We should be able to kill them fairly quickly and then we can focus on the uh, high health one. Okay, slug snakes gotta go. Oh, I can see my trail of damage. Okay, these sunspots actually hurt the snakes quite a lot. So I need to pull them through the sun a lot. Uh, definitely just walked into some damage there because the clown snakes are blocking my way. I'm just getting greedy trying to get the loot. Okay, can you stop hitting me for a second? Thank you. Okay, this one's getting hurt though. Okay, that one's dead. Uh, we've got two fangs so far. We just need to keep killing these. Actually, you know what? I gotta pull it straight into this sunspot because it's very slow, so there we go. That'll tick away its damage actually quite a bit. Yeah, that's helping a lot. 
Plus my water too, so if it's going through these sunspots and close to me, it'll actually take a lot of this damage over time. Look at the red bar fill up. Yep, come this way now. Good. Good idiot. This one will be full of good drops. It's going to be lots of oil and hopefully lots of teeth. All snakes defeated. Actually, yeah, we got 51 oil in like 11 teeth, so we were actually rich. So, uh, wow, plus 40 damage and double reach. Pitchfork level 4. I'm also going to be stupid and get what's called a volcano snake. Like a fire snake, but much bigger, it gives 30 oil. It gives us a lot of oil, it sounds really dangerous. But I'm also going to cre increase my movement speed by 20% and uh, get more of that sunburn effect for the snakes. Okay, that is not great. Uh, okay, we're just going to probably mostly ignore that for a second. Because uh, we're going to take care of the other snakes for a sec. We're doing uh, a lot of damage now, so we'll kill them faster than ever before. There we go. This damage is much better. We're destroying snakes now. Yeah, they don't last more than a couple seconds as long as they're anywhere near any of my damages. So we'll do that. It'd be nice to get some piercing as well, but uh, we'll see what we get by the end of this. Okay, that one's dead. It's not even one. So let's try and figure out how to deal with this. Okay, this was a mistake. I, reg I regret bringing this thing to life. Can you walk this way? Can you get into my sunspot? I can't hit you in the head if you're over there. It's really annoying. Oh, his health is getting low though. It's just hard to see because it's red. Okay, the big snake is dead. Now we got all that oil and all the things. $136. Oh, we don't have enough for the next pitchfork level. I'm going to make the days last a little longer just to be sure I'm killing things. We're going to get a second loot snake. I feel like that's a good idea. The garden snake gives 40 oil, but I'm already feeling just about a capacity of snakes. We're going to bring in one more corral snake. Maybe I'm also going to get the watering can next level. We're going to reroll because it just costs money. All fire rate 20% faster. I should be looking for things like that. Headshots do two times damage. Actually, this is really good stuff. I should reroll more. I guess moving faster wouldn't hurt. So we're going to start day eight. We're going to start with 240 damage for headshots. We're destroying these things now. Okay, we want the clown snakes to go first. That way they don't drop clown stuff in our way. Uh, the coral snakes are dying quickly. 240 for a headshot. We're firing quite quickly. Plus we got the faster water and can fire rate. So look at all the loot we're dropping. Okay, we're going to focus fire hopefully on the slug snake in there because it will die fairly easily and then we can focus on the few that remain. So 240 damage per headshot. Uh, we're uh, going to get in the face of both of them a little bit. I want to pull them into the uh, the sunspot too. We need them both to die. But they're actually, uh, one of them's almost dead and it's not even noon. Okay, one of them is dead. It's 1130. We managed to kill one and a half of the super snakes. Okay, this is going to be good. We're going to be really, really rich after this. We have 11 fangs so far. We got two more snakes to destroy. Okay, that one's dead. That dropped a lot of fangs. Yeah, this thing's going to die quickly too. Yeah, it's getting on there in the day, but it's dead. Give me all those 31 things. 100 oil, $158. Pitchfork, faster cooldown, yes. Attacks have a 1% chance to pierce, yes. All attack projectiles last longer. Why would we want that? Am I missing something? Headshots do three times damage. Days last 20 seconds longer. What else can we get? Sprays damaging water. Nope, don't want any of those. We can get bigger, faster sunbeams. Yeah, why not? I'm also going to add what's called a garden snake. It's going to give 40 oil. Grows damaging rose bushes. Yeah, that might be something I come to regret. We got to watch out for the new rose bush snake. Hey, okay, that's you. You're reasonably tough, but we're going to kill you. Look at the size of my sons, but look at all the loot. Okay, give me that. Don't touch the ro rose bushes. They kind of blend in. Uh, I'm forgetting what snakes are what already. I know I've been doing this for a few minutes already, but I'm very slow. Okay, so 350 per headshot. We can absolutely decimate these. We're going to add so many snakes after this, it's going to get stupid. Okay, come on to the giant sunspot, morons. The sunspots are almost too quickly now because they're outrunning the snakes, but we killed one by 930. 10,000 HP, and we destroyed like 40 other snakes first. Okay, now it's just this big moron, so this shouldn't take long. I'm just going to sit here and shoot you in the face. Almost done. Uh, we've killed all the snakes, and it's not even 11. Uh, 134 oil and like 30 something things if i saw that correctly so pitchfork is gonna have half cooldown double reach so it's gonna be way more powerful again that costs 26 dollars by itself big worm is 50 dollars big worm gives 200 oil yeah go for it Ooh, then our fire rate's gonna be 20 20 percent faster again this is gonna be so dumb uh let's also try a bone snake while we're at it and um i, w I gotta be careful what i buy because some of these probably are gonna be really dangerous there is something called a snake king, but I feel like that's me. I'm going to just... We, we bought some new snakes. Let's not push it. Uh, let's push it a little bit. One snake king. Okay, fine. Okay, there's big worm. Okay, they were not kidding about the big worm part. Oh, there's so many things around me. What do I do? Uh-oh. What do I do? Damage, go. Okay, damage. <laughs> damage was supposed to carry me through that, and it didn't. I maybe pushed it a little too far with big worm. We had a lot of damage, but so did they. 
I am starting to appreciate though starting with more oil because I realize now we can get hit once and if we get hit twice we die until we start killing snakes. But at least we got more damage. We need fire rate. If we could rapid fire this we would destroy everything in an instant. I do love a good wall of damage text. Yeah that's it. Come this way morons got one. Generally once I kill one or two snakes I'm pretty much overconfident because I get a little bit of health. I think I was so excited for damage upgrades that last round I forgot to actually buy snakes. That's it, come this way. Good morons, got them all. Okay, we got the loot snake again. 10,000 health gives 30 oil, we need one of those, but we can also upgrade our trowel, faster cooldown. Also, maybe gonna get a sprinkler, uh, just for a little bit of extra damage help. Should we get a clown snake as well? We might as well. There we go, now we're gonna have projectiles, or uh, blockages from the clown snakes to get in our way, but we're gonna be okay, because we can sit way back here, and we can actually shoot these projectiles pretty quick now. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill a loot snake yet, but that's okay. That comes with time. We made an investment in the loot snake. And all of our shots probably do hit it because it's always out there somewhere. And we do fire quite often now, so we're actually doing quite a bit of damage to these things. This is a lot more than I thought already. Okay, I do have a sprinkler up over here, so we're going to try and keep the snakes reasonably close to that. Both that and the sunbeams because they'll just uh, take a lot of extra damage and that means I can be lazy and not actually attack things. I do want this other clown snake dead though because he's gonna keep <laughs> getting in the way. Yeah, I uh, walked into that one. Okay, I definitely don't have the DPS for the loot snake yet, but I did get all the other ones. But uh, the damage will get high enough that I will be able to take on this moron as well. Well, we still got teeth and oil. Uh, the next trowel, two damage and bigger trowel. That would actually be a nice upgrade. We need to save up for that. For now, I'm gonna take another clown snake because we can kill them. They'll give me 10 oil, so that's a good investment. I'm also gonna get the eye patch. Headshots do 1.5 times damage. I'm just hoping there's some reason that like once I hit a snake in the head, all the shots do extra after that. I'm also going to get fertilizer. Hurts nearby enemies. Not really sure how that works. Start rounds with plus one oil also. So I have this aura around me. Uh, I guess that's the fertilizer that's going to hurt things. So we're going to try and get all the snakes oriented to one side of me. That way my shots go through all of them all at once. And then our DPS goes bananas because we're hitting all of these snakes. and We're shooting all the way through the whole mass of them. Kind of makes you wonder at this point how much loot I'm leaving behind because I might be killing snakes like that I cannot see. I guess what's most important is we're getting some of the loot. Okay, that was a whole bunch of teeth, so that feels good. Uh, actually, I forgot to check the damage thing. If uh, the damage readouts are higher once it goes through there, it doesn't look like it. The headshot does six, and the other million shots still do only three. But that's perfectly okay. Oh, there's loot up here that I didn't even see. I think a better way to do this build with the piercing would be pick uh, lots of uh, low health snakes because you can kill them all fairly easily. These singular high damage snakes are really, really painful to kill. Though to be fair, I haven't really been putting my fertilizer to work. I don't know how much damage it does. Ow. But it might actually uh, stack up quite a bit. Oh, I just put myself in a really stupid spot. Actually, that's a lot of taking away at 15 damage. So this fertilizer actually is pretty good. Okay, good news. I accidentally bought the better trowel anyway. Plus two damage and a bigger trowel. Okay, I'm going to buy some of these uh, weak little baby snakes because I can actually stay way far away from them and kill them. Especially because I can move 20% faster. Do I want to buy that? Uh, yes. Oh, I was wondering if this one would come in next and it did. We could have had 20% faster fire rate. Well, that's okay because we're going to kill so many snakes this time. It's going to get ridiculous. So we're doing a much bigger, better trowel now. So we're destroying things already. Yeah, there we go. This is better. Yeah, look at all those teeth. And we'll get all these morons to circle around. If, whoops, they do get close to me, uh, they're going to take damage from my fertilizer. The slug snakes are stuck way over here, but look at all the different snakes we're hitting now. There's so much damage going out. And that's very satisfying. It's a whole uh, piercing damage. It goes way down. Okay, but these guys are all dying. We're going to pick up the rest of the oil uh, as best I can. I can never, I don't know what gaps I can fit through or not. It's very stressful. We're going to kill the other two snakes fairly easily because of all my damage, but the stupid loot snake has me. And for all of my sort of AoE damage, I can't 1v1 the strong snakes. That's fine. The other snakes died close enough to me that I got their loot. So we're still going to make some money on this one. And we got 16 teeth. Since we have all these teeth, we're going to buy better fertilizer because that's actually doing quite a bit of damage. Then we're going to get 20% faster fire rate. That's going to make a big difference. Runs over snakes can and will kill you. That sounds fun. We're going to buy a tractor. Uh, so we should have a tractor out there that's rampaging around hitting things. Uh, that can and will hit us too. So we need to uh, be aware that we've created an obstacle for everyone. Okay, there's a lot of damage going out. We're just killing snakes everywhere over there. I'm trying to lure them in a big circle so the stupid clown snakes don't block off all the paths everywhere. But there goes the kamikaze tractor. Uh, looks like the uh, clown snake stuff does get out of the way eventually. So it will despawn. We just need to lure the snakes in a big enough circle so that they spread out. That tractor is going to be good and stressful for everyone involved. 
There's actually a tooth right there I'm trying to get to, but I'm really nervous about getting inside uh, all the blockages because the tractor's going to run me over. Although it disappeared a moment ago. I'm not sure where the tractor's gone, but uh, well, there it is. I knew it was only a matter of time. We did kill the loot snake right at the end. Uh, also, faster cooldown for our trowels. Yes. We're also going to get the watering can. Sprays damaging water in a short range around you. We're also going to get a smog snake because I feel like that could be helpful. Uh, double watering can fire rate. Double watering can range. So that's just going to help give me extra damage around me. Tractor moves faster and attacks faster. Yes. Uh, we're maybe going to get a fire snake as well. We're going to get a... Um, I might be getting carried away. Okay, we're going to add a tire, tiger snake as well. The more things we have to kill, the better this is going to go, probably. Okay, let the chaos commence. So we're going to do a lot more damage. We got a tractor going bananas. Okay, we got a fire snake over here. So what we're going to do is try and do everything beyond the fire snake because uh, we can fire through the fire snake. There we go. Yeah, this is a good build now. We're just firing so much damage to everything. We do need to avoid all the little things. But we can just kind of sit way back here. We're firing so quickly now, too. We're like a machine gun suddenly. We fired so slow to begin with. Now we can decimate all the snakes. And look at all the loot on the ground. We're going to get so many teeth and oils. I do need to remember to keep firing at the snakes though. I got caught up by the loot so I forgot to do anything. And uh, I think there's still a fire snake somewhere up top if I'm seeing that correctly. Something is firing fireballs. I would assume it's a fire snake. But we did just kill whatever that one was. Back to the top. Like there's fireballs, there it is. I knew it was somewhere up here. The other snake will catch up to us. Okay, we destroyed that one. Now it's just a matter of the little loot snake. So we're going to sit here and try and damage it with all of our water and uh, whatever the brown one was. Okay, tractor's coming in. <laughs> we're going to get out of its way. We're going to lure it into the sunspot. And once it gets there, we'll curve it through both of them. Yeah, look at the damage add up now. Okay, the snake is dead. Look at the trowel, plus 14 damage. Biggest trowel. Yes. Uh, I'm also going to buy this Snake King. Might come to regret that, but we got a one King Snake out there. Overall, it's all fire rate 20% faster. And then we're going to do all water pushing attack slow snakes because we have lots of water attacks. Then we're going to move 20% faster as well. But our damage is going to be dumb. Our fire rate is very quick and our damage is absolutely huge. I don't know. I got to get some oil real quick or I'm going to die. Okay, just keep firing. We're doing so much damage now. Uh, Yeah, we're like one-shotting some of these snakes. Uh, and we're attacking really quick. We're destroying all of these. And that, I think, is the king snake. Not sure much healthy. Okay, he might be firing out little ones. But I don't discriminate. I'll murder everything. Okay, I just killed something that gave me a bunch of loot. Uh, everything's getting tractored. Uh, was that the loot snake that died that easily? Our damage is crazy. Okay, this snake is really, really strong. And it keeps firing out uh, these other little snakes. Luckily, I've got lots of HP and lots of time on my hands. You know, we'll get right in your face. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually attack. It just fires out the baby. So if we sit here, we'll just get all of our damage in on it without <laughs> getting tractored. Okay, that thing is also dead. And we got an achievement for defeating the king snake. We also have 224 oil and 53 teeth. And then we got the orange screen of death.